here is what I'm going to make into my new amplifier. It's going to be super macho. Super, super macho. Yes. Look, it's even got genuine period dirt on it. This is important because I want it to be battery powered. This is battery powered. Rock and roll. So I could have torn something apart to get this, but I went out and splurged instead and spent about six bucks to get this, which is a female guitar jack. It's something that a guitar cord can plug into. The guitar cord will go in here. It's got a little metal plate to attach to the outside of what will be our amp. And then on the other side is where you will attach the wires. Six bucks. Now we open this up. If you're on meth, this will be your favorite part of the whole project. Voila! The inside of an old tape machine. So you can see the wires running to the speaker. And this is the whole motorized tape transport system, which we don't need because we're not going to be moving a tape. Uh, and it'll cause extra noise, so we're going to get rid of that. So let's take that part apart, get it out of here. Goodbye, little wheels. This looks like it's probably the motor over here. I want to take a look at this from the other side, so I'm going to take these internal structural screws out. So this is the motor that it took out of that little corner, and it's probably the heaviest component in here, and we don't need it, so get rid of that. So there is, there's the tape head, right in there. That's the little tape head. That's what we're looking for. Burr, right there. There's the front of it, hiding down in there. That's what we want to tap into because that's what the tape on the cassette would push up against and send signals into the machinery of all this. And now we want the guitar to be sending the signals. So we're going to take this wire off here. And now you can see we have detached this wire, a little black wire from the tape head. So we're going to route that around and attach the female guitar jack to that wire instead so the signal will be coming from the guitar instead of the tape head. Okay, let's do that. So here we have the wire that used to connect to the tape head and it's what we are going to connect to our female guitar jack, which I have, I've just taken the face plate off so I can work with it a little more easily. And so the first thing we want to do is strip this wire down so we can get at it a little better. So now I've got two wires exposed that I can attach to the female guitar jack. And I want to show you one other thing. Let's zoom in here. These two little pieces of metal complete the circuit when you push down on the play button. It's too bad the buttons don't work anymore because that would make a very convenient on-off switch for this. But I can put a little toggle switch in the back wired into the line from the batteries. For the time being, I'll just have to take the batteries out when I'm not using it. 
should be able to just put a little piece of solder there to connect that circuit. So we have that circuit connected so we don't have to push any of the buttons. We have the batteries in so we have power running through it and we have a guitar hooked up temporarily to the female jack just to test it and we've got these wires exposed. So I'll hit a note on the guitar. And we're getting sound. And of course we want to mount this into the frame of our little mini amp. And we've got a good spot right here. This is where the electric motor used to be. So we're going to drill through here and mount this using this little faceplate. Now I measured how big this is, that is the, the part of the female jack that is going to sit down inside the hole. And it was three quarters of an inch, so I got three quarters of an inch drill bit. going to fit great. So I'm just going to mark holes for where the little screws are going to go to hold this plate in place. I can drill holes there. Check behind these holes and make sure you're not hitting anything important. Okay, so we've got this wire attached to the female jack, and we're going to carefully feed this back through the hole we drilled in the side. Now it's time to put screws back and put the whole frame back together. So there it is, transformed into an amp. Let's see what it sounds like. got a nice little overdrive tone to it. And that's how you turn a Fisher Price cassette player into a guitar amp. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching everybody. Have fun making music. Find new uses for things from your childhood, just like you did with your parents.